who and or what is the real enemy. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. There's a lot to be said on the topic. There's a lot of things that people, different people think different things. They look at things a different way. What are the real threats out there? What is the real danger? And what do we have to look out for? Who and or what? Well, who? Okay, um, right now, and the, word, the way the world is going, a lot of people can say, New World Order, Bilderberg, Trilateral Commission, World Economic Forum, you know, people like Gates, Schwab, those kind of people. The people behind the scenes that run the world, Deep State, all that stuff. Another way of looking at it is news and media. Fake news sources, um, the indoctrination of public school systems, the public indoctrination system, um, the media, college, all these kind of things. Then on the other hand, if we devolve into an SHTF scenario without rule of law, then starving people could be the enemy. That's likely. Because as inflation raises, as prices keep skyrocketing, as shortages get worse, the availability of products that we need and or want get worse, tensions will increase. We'll see more violence, we'll see more crime, theft, etc. Here's another thing that could be the real enemy. Before I get into that though, Please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell for all, hit that thumbs up, share the videos, comment below, any of those things. Let me know in the comments what you guys think are likely enemies, threats, those kind of things to us as preppers. Is it the government? Um, is it the United Nations? Is it FEMA? Is it roving bands of people doing bad? Who is it? Is it the Russians, the Chinese? Are they going to invade us? There's a lot of different things out there. A lot of potential for threats and enemies. Another thing I want to talk about, though, kind of a unique spin on things, I think, is that I have a feeling that <clears throat> heading into winter, as you can see, we got our first snow on the ground. Um, not much, obviously, but we went into town and it was a lot, lot more snow in town. Um, not only winter and power grid going down, that could be a potential threat and or enemy, even though it's not an enemy per se, um, the cold could become the enemy due to no, no grid, as well as water, sanitation, a lot of other things. But it's also the time when people <coughs> get those kind of things more often. And due to the events of the last couple of years, a lot more people have been using Things like hand sanitizers, wearing masks, getting those kind of things. So what has happened in a lot of situations is people have been, um, what's the word for it, holding back, um, degrading their natural God-given immunity. Natural immunity isn't allowed to happen because people hand sanitize everything now hand sanitizers, they clean everything like crazy, they use bleach on everything and all kinds of stuff like that. Thus, our immune systems, for a lot of people in those situations, aren't as good as they were before. Before all this big blow up and everybody freaking out and stuff. So that could be a potential big problem also. I encourage you guys to yeah, keep yourselves clean, do proper sanitizing and, you know, keep them sanitary, but also allow your natural immunity to grow and to be strong. There's a lot of supplements also for it. You can take garlic, you know, the honey, the uh, vitamin D, zinc, magnesium, or not magnesium. Um, there's a lot of good stuff that you can take, though. A lot of all your whole natural foods are very good also. And exercise, fitness proper sleep, water, all those kind of things. That 
could be a potential enemy though, is the common cold um, due to our decreased immunity, etc. Let's get back to some of the other stuff though. Shortages leading to more people doing things that they necessarily wouldn't do in normal situations. And how do you mitigate against that? Well, first off, OPSEC is important. Don't tell everybody everything you have. Um, you know, security, privacy, your defensive capabilities, that's something to be aware of. Those defensive capabilities, uh, defensive tools, uh, seeds, seed holders, all the equipment that goes with it, that those apply to a lot of the different situations. Whether it's just people going hungry, going around trying to take from others, take from you, uh, whether it's a foreign invasion, whether it's our own government going crazy and getting off the hook, and maybe we need to stand up to them. Hopefully that never happens. Hopefully you never get invaded. I don't ever want to have to flip that switch on, throw my gear on, and start shooting again. I don't. And I don't advocate it, I don't desire it, not, none, of that, none of that stuff. But what I do advocate for is self-reliance, self-sufficiency, prepping, stockpiling all your food. Get it while you can. I mean, prices are just going skyrocketing. And yes, they'll be replaced with things like, you know, instead of buying, going to the store and buying steak and or beef, you'll be able to buy, you know, the lab-grown stuff, lab-grown chicken, uh, petri dish chicken, petri dish beef, um, bugs, grasshoppers, um, beyond meat, you know, that fake stuff, the vegan stuff. Um, and I've tried, we've, we've been vegan before, trying to figure out um, what diet would work best for my wife having lupus. Uh, vegetarian, vegan, raw foodist, we've run the gamut. Um, and we found out that <laughs> red meat and other stuff like that, normal, healthy, whole, natural foods, is the way to go. So that's a good thing. But there's a lot of this push for meatless society out there. And a lot of these agendas that you got to pay attention to. Is it a conspiracy theory? Well, I've kind of run out of conspiracy theories because they've all come true. <laughs> you guys have seen the memes. Tr really, I mean, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of threats. There's a lot of potential. So get your security in order. Get your defensive capability in order. Training, practice, all those kind of things. As well as the ability to heat your house, grid down, and or blankets to keep you warm. There's a lot to prepping. Um, making sure your vehicles are squared away for, you know, having to bug out in the middle of winter, which would not be the best time. Um, actually, no time is really the best time to bug out. I would much prefer bugging in, but it's one of those capabilities you got to have uh, because where you're living may become in untenable. You may not be able to stay there um, due to whatever threats pose themselves or come about. So uh, being aware of stuff around you, I've talked about this before, being situationally aware. Um, what can you really do against things like the United Nations, the Bilderbergers, Trilateral Community Commission, the uh, World Economic Forum? Um, well, you can actually do a lot. Choosing on where you spend your money, what businesses you support, as well as doing things like you can barely see, but out here, the raised garden, raised beds, gardening, in-ground, raised beds, containers, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just growing your own food, raising your own animals, becoming self-sufficient, getting outside of their system. Stop playing their games. Um, I'm currently being shadow, you know what, by YouTube here, losing subscribers right and left, not getting the views, not getting the exposure. I'm so sick and tired of censorship, um, but it is what it is. That's why I have to talk in parables and talk about defensive tools instead of using the proper names. Um, it's stupid. I get it, and it really... Uh, upsets me. It really pisses me off, to be frank. And uh, I served my country for 20 years in the military. I shouldn't have to worry about this. I shouldn't have to do this. I supported and defended the Constitution of the United States of the United, uh, against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Well, I guess I didn't do a very good job about the domestic enemies. Um, so now we're faced with this. We are where we allowed ourselves to get. We, uh, the government is where it is um, and is pushing the agendas because we allow them to point blank. So be ready, be prepared, be as, as self-sufficient as possible so that you don't have to play their games. Central bank digital currencies, all this kind of stuff, social credit scores, 
Yeah, well, if you have a tribe and a border network uh, of people that's outside of the system, that's where it's going to have to go. Forming communities, building tribe, building strength, being strong, and keep on doing the things. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.